My name is Wendy Carrillo and I'm running for Congress to represent the 34th Congressional District here in Los Angeles. I was born in El Salvador and I came to the U.S. when I was five years old. From the ages of five to 13, I was undocumented, but luckily for me, I had a pathway to residency and citizenship. And like many children that are escaping violence and war throughout Latin America and other places around the world, people leave and migrate because they want an opportunity for freedom and at life, and we all deserve that. This is a country uh, of opportunity. It is a country that exemplifies uh, what it truly means to work hard and get ahead and uh, have an opportunity and chance at life. It's very easy to simply point the finger and say it's their fault. This is why the rest of us uh, are, in, are, are suffering at the moment. But politics is far more nuanced than that. It requires that you actually have conversations with people that you may not agree with and come to conclusions and resolutions about how to move the country forward. I went to Standing Rock as a journalist. I was supposed to be there for about a week and a half and I ended up staying there for close to two months. To actually experience and see and be tear gassed myself and see elders and women and young people be hit by water cannons at 14 degree weather, to be hit by, by rubber bullets, to have their civil rights and human rights violated was a completely eye-open experience that changed me. Every four years, the country gets riled up for a new president, but locally, there are elections happening all the time. This is one of the first congressional races across the country since the new administration took over. It is an example of what Los Angeles and the country can do to move the resistance forward, to be a first response in, to a, an administration that cares very little about minority communities in this country. I 100% get that people feel angry. But if you care about immigrant rights, women's rights, LGBTQ rights, the environment, environmental justice, water rights, the Native American rights, do something about it. We have a lot more in common than we do things that are separating us. And so I would encourage everyone to come out and vote in local elections. My election is on April 4th. This is an opportunity to do something about how you are feeling.